Hello viewers and welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla. It is a nice starry night out. And I I have an idea for a build. Now I can't I can't talk about it just yet. But I wanted to look around spawn and kind of find the perfect location. And I wanted to make sure to claim it before before someone else did. At, in Ovi's most recent video, he was kind of going around and saying, oh, I got to fix this, I got to fix that, blah, blah, blah. Hey, Ovi, you haven't fixed the signpost, okay? So don't worry about it. The signpost? The lamppost. You haven't fixed the signpost either. I haven't seen one signpost anywhere. Um... I really like this part of town. The The thing is, the, the, the building I have in mind, it's a very awkward, don't want to say awkward, it's an awkward shape. And it would probably require, where's this going? This is kind of cool. We're supposed to build a carnival out this way someday, who knows when. It would require a little, a, a real awkward lot. Wait a minute. Well, this is perfect. This is exactly the, the space I'm looking for. All right. Well, great. Claimed by B-Ran, awaiting Ovi's approval. All right, Ovi, approve this so I can get to building. <laughs> All right, now that we have that taken care of, that was quite the business. Uh, I need, I need to cave. I don't need, no. No, that's right, no, I do. I need, need. I want and need to cave. So. Sorry, so. I want to go to, goodness, not here, uh, here, yes, um, oh my, pick up your mess, trade Savannah, be ran something or other, <laughs> perfect, uh, I don't have, oh my gosh, I just picked up all the things. I don't have portal making supplies anywhere. Does anyone have some portal making supplies? Did I think ahead and... No, I didn't. Well, that's a bummer, Mayhorus. So I just wanted to go caving. Ocean Temple first left. But I wanted to be in a new area because I want to make sure that there's plenty of andesite. And so I figured if I went to the faraway nether hub, the nether hub that we never really use, by the way, and we should, except I actually want to focus more on building at spawn. That would be my first right. This would not be a left. This was forward. But you know what? That's fine. Let's go in here and see what we find. And we find whole bunch of nothing. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, that is interesting. Because I can grab this extra obsidian so that I can have a portal. However, I don't have a flint. But I do have... I do have an iron. Or we could just go explore here for a little bit. Really, though, I just need to find a cave. And I'd hate to dig one up. What should we do, viewers? Let's explore for a very little bit. And light up this island while we're here. This is a cool island, actually. The thing is, I don't want to just go off somewhere far away and find a cool thing and, and build there for the reason that I could do that on single player. And in a multiplayer world, 
That's kind of goofy goober. I bet I could find caves somewhere. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a flint. And we're going to pretend that one of these iron ingots is steel. And we're going to put it together and make a flint and steel. I'm going to grab some extra obsidian. And we are going to make our own... Our own what's it? Our own nether portal. For the faraway nether hub. And we will use this for something or other. Just like just like it's labeled. I didn't want to go straight. I wanted to go down. I thought that'd be more interesting. I actually wanted to go down as far as I could. But I can't. I can't go down as far as I could. Because there's a major drop off. <laughs> but I thought if my portal was at the bottom, then the likelihood of it taking me into a cave directly would increase. And I did a, a four by four. Well, technically it's a six by six. The portal itself is four by four. I've never made one this big. So I don't know where it's gonna take me. Let's find out. Some more good. And, oh my gosh, you're kidding. <laughs> it took me into a cave. All right. Uh, step one. Establish a safe parameter. Nothing fancy. But there. <laughs> so we will not go that way. We will go this way. Um I have free light here. That's kinda interesting. So let's just let's just explore for a little while. I'm not worried about grabbing all the ores. I can do that off camera. Oh, dead end. Bad luck. How many torches do I have? And I did bring sticks. Okay, we're gonna quickly grab some coal. Just to make some more torches. My inventory is going to be a hodgepodge of things for a while. I suppose I could toss down a chest. Come on. Make all the torches. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll set up like a little mini base. And when I may when I say mini, I mean mini. Okay. As in bam, done keep all our tools on us. I brought a lava bucket just because I saw lava and I had enough iron to make another bucket. So I figured, why not? We'll take this with us. We'll do some free lighting. And that, I made that just so that I could get the flint and it still took me forever. Okay, so let's, let's do that. And I hear the baby. What is that? Is that, that's gold, I think. Uh-huh. Ooh, more gold. Nice. Let's do the hug the wall trick. <laughs> that's a dead end. We'll call that a dead end. Where we keep, my goodness, we keep following the Whatever's on the right. Mm-hmm. What can we find? I hear creatures, but I don't see none. And actually, I'm not even seeing the whole reason I wanted to be here. I wanted andesite. Andesite, people. That's an interesting area right there. Oh, hello. 
Hey, little guy. I just told all your friends where I am. Let's take a look down here. Oh, my. Oh, gosh. Get him before he notices. And I'm already breaking some kind of rule. Where I'm going to get lost. I don't have another bucket, so I can't safely dismantle that lava stream. Hey! Dude, that other creeper must have been weak. Sucker! Now, I talked about this, or at least I tried to talk about this on an episode of Modesty. Where I saw a creeper, and I came down further into this cave, and I saw another creeper. And now we're going deeper. And I feel like I should see another creeper. There's diamond. Don't worry, we'll get it. We will get that one immediately. Do not leave that one up to... Ha! <laughs> Remembering? <laughs> So I go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, and I see, let's say I saw another creeper here. And it doesn't. But let's say the cave swung around the corner. And it just gives you the feeling like there is more. Like if you continue to go deeper, you're eventually going to run into some sort of creeper hideout creeper base but you never do it never works that way and it's kind of disappointing in a way anything I can do anything you can do better Blump. That's one aspect I enjoy about caving, is that it gives you this sense of adventure. This feeling, like something more is going to happen. Quite often, nothing happens. That's the, that's the disappointment of caving. Where is all the different stone types? Oh my gosh. Okay, well... Let's get the diamond. And I don't have fortune. And I don't have silk touch. So, viewers, I'm sorry. Whoa! Bit of lag. I'm going to wander these halls for a short while. Look for some andesite. And I'll bring you back if something exciting happens. Or when I'm just done. Whichever happens first. I decided that I would surface from the cave since I have not been finding any of the stone I need. And I saw this structure, so I want to go check that out. Of course, I really don't want to go there at night. But, could be exciting. And the only way to make sure that I don't get lost is to build some pillars. And I figured, actually, it's kind of cool if they're on fire as well. And I think I'd like to do at least one more, just for, for fun. But I don't have that many blocks here, so... Maybe as I get closer inland, it won't be as deep. This does look interesting. I don't see any of the new stone, though. Kind of bugging me. I said that a little funky because I wanted to say bothering me. Let's see if I can make this to the surface of the water. Come on. Yes. Oh. Beautiful. As if it was intended. 
I see a creeper creep. This could be exciting. Fighting some creatures. Now this, you would think, you'd see all sorts of uh, new stone types. Right? It's all exposed. Oh, my aim is no good. For a second there, I thought that spider was larger than normal. But that's implausible. Let's take a look. Lava down the side of the mountain. That is cool. The one thing I don't like is I am so far away from home. That, to me, is kind of crazy. Nice, the rain went away. Wow, this place is cool looking, though. Prioritize. Suckers. Oh, you got a, a shovel? This ain't got nothing on me. Where's all my stone? It's all regular stone. I thought for sure I'm going to have to make a new world to see how it looks because this doesn't seem right. We're on the new version, right? Yeah, we're on 1.8. <laughs> oh, look, there's a field. Ah. No, it's just you. Ah, man. What's going on? What's going on? Look at this tree. Out here all by itself. If I were to live out here, I would live by this tree. Because this tree is cool. This tree is like, pfft, I don't care. This is, where I, this is my spot. This is where I am. <laughs> uh, it just looks really neat. Are you you bringing me an arrow? That's very kind of you. Look at that field. That just looks awesome. Oh, gosh. You're ruining the moment, sucker. And the little bits of natural light. I, I want to run over there and explore them. And like right there, right? It looks like some land masses and there's some light. Almost like there's a village tucked underneath. Under under the, the dirt. Within the tunnel. Of course, if you go over there, that's not what it's going to be. But <laughs> that's what it looks like. I wish things could be what they look like they were. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think a computer game can ever kind of think about what we're imagining and then pop it there. Oh man, that does. That looks like something begging to be explored. But I need to find stone. Back on task, I suppose. Cooked food. Just realized I could have cooked food with this bow. Hey, uh, I cut back here because I noticed something. I know. Oh gosh. Okay, there. <laughs> I thought my, I thought I was playing tricks on myself. I didn't do this. Somebody else did, and I don't know how long ago this has all been here. So honestly, in theory. Somebody else could have been out here before the update. Maybe. Possibly. Which would explain why there's just regular stone. I wonder if this actually goes anywhere. Or if I'm just going to end up being somewhere that's sad. Yeah, I'm just going to be somewhere that's sad. So someone was definitely out here. And they were, I don't know. I don't know what their intention was because they didn't branch mine. Looks like maybe they wanted to. So it seems like this trip is a bust. No andesite. Not from this area. Which is a real bummer. Because I totally should be able to get andesite from here. 
This completely should be a brand new area, never before explored. But it's not. Somebody beat me to it. I did get some diamonds, I suppose. And this is a bow. Oh. I thought somebody was attacking me. Who's attacking me? Well, at least I reserved that spot over at spawn. <laughs> Cooked food. That is the most amazing thing. I can't believe I never thought to do that. Okay, well, bummer. Yeah, I guess now that I know this place has been explored, and now that I don't see any other kinds of stone here, I know that this, this is not going to work. We will not succeed in our quest for andesite. So I will head back, and I will need to find some other place to meet my needs. But that's this episode. So I didn't get my goal accomplished. But, like I said, we reserved a location. Uh, we went caving a little bit. We did some exploring. We saw some kind of new generation. I mean, it was still beautiful. It's still beautiful. But I ain't never coming back here again. I don't have a reason to. So until next time, this has been B-Ran. I will see you next video. Have a great day.